Hello, grade four learners. How are you today? Well, we're going to learn your first lesson in Science Four, Quarter One. So this is all about the materials that absorb water. Are you ready, kids? Okay, very good. So this time, we're going to know first our objective. For our objective for today, for this lesson, is to classify materials based on the ability to absorb water, float, sink, and undergo decay. So we're going first to learn what are the materials that absorb water. Do you know materials that absorb water? Look around you. What are the materials that absorb water? And what are the materials that doesn't absorb water? To have an idea about materials that absorb water and doesn't absorb water, look at this picture. So let's name it. So we have the sponge, the towel, the cellophane, the mop, the leaf, cotton, and paper. So those are examples of materials that absorb water and there is also an example materials that doesn't absorb water. To fully understand our lesson, we're going to have an experiment. But before doing the experiment, let's have this guide question to answer afterwards so that we are able to fully understand our lesson. Okay. Naintindihan, kids? Okay. So, basahin muna natin ang mga guide question na ito para mayroon tayong guide sa paggawa ng ating experiment. Yan. So, number one, what is the characteristics of each of the materials before placing them to water? So, mamaya, magkakaroon tayo ng experiment and then pansinin yung mabuti, i-observe yung mabuti kung ano yung mga characteristics ng bawat material bago natin ilubog sa tubig. Number two, did all the materials absorb water? Three, which of the materials absorb water? Four, which of the materials did not absorb water? So, yan yung mga tanong na mag-guide sa atin habang ginagawa natin ang ating experiment at sasagutin natin yan pagkatapos gawin natin ang ating experiment. So, our experiment or our first activity is to investigate if the following materials absorbs water or not. So, we have here the materials. So, meron tayong mga materials dito na gagamitin natin sa paggawa ng ating experiment. Okay, so meron tayong container with water, tissue paper, plastic ball, cotton balls, sponge, towel, gabi leaves, cellophane, paper, vegetable, stone, toy. And then, you're gonna List down the materials that absorb water. And list down the materials that did not absorb water as we go on with our experiment. So, manood kayong mabuti kids. At magkakaroon tayo ng experiment sa mga bagay-bagay o sa mga materials na sumisipsip ng tubig at hindi nagsisipsip ng tubig. Are you ready kids? Okay, very good. Let's do the experiment. It's experiment time. So you're going, kids, to observe if these materials will absorb water or not. Okay, let's start it. So we're going to start with the button. So look at kids, what I'm doing. And then... I've done a squeeze. Does water come out on this container? Can you see water coming out? If I'm gonna squeeze the, this container, 
tape. How about this paper? I'm gonna put here on the water. Does it absorb water? How about this cotton? There's water coming out from this cotton. And how about this sponge? Can you see water coming out from this sponge? How about this eggplant? I'm going to squeeze it. How about the leaves? The tissue paper. What happened to the tissue paper? This cellophane. Does it absorb water? How about the face towel? And we have also the plastic ball. And then stone. So in this experiment case, in this activity, you have observed the materials that absorb water or not. So ito na. Kumusta yung panunod niyo sa ating experiment kids? Naintindihan niyo ba? May natutunan ba kayo? Okay, very good. So we're gonna answer the table that was asked a while ago. So we're going to investigate if the following materials, if it absorbed water or not. So we have here two columns, the materials that absorb water, and then the materials doesn't absorb water. Sa ating experiment kanina, alin sa mga bagay doon ang sulipsip ng tubig or it absorbs water? Okay, very good! So, meron tayong yung tissue paper, nakita naman natin, and then... Ginagamit din natin yan sa mga bagay-bagay. Kaganda ang pamumunas natin sa ating mukha, sa ating pawis. Yan, ginagamit na ng tissue paper. Then, we have also the cotton balls, the sponge, towel, and paper. Yan. And then, yung materials doesn't absorb water. We have also the plastic ball, the plastic bottle, cellophane, vegetable, and stone. Kung mapapansin nyo, kids, ang mga materials that absorb water ay meron silang tiny holes. Meron sila yung, they have small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Yan. And then, kapag mapapansin nyo yung cotton balls, yung sponge, and yung towel, ay meron yung mga tiny holes or they have small holes. Samantala, yung mga plastic ball, kapag pansinin nyo mabuti, pwede nyo kumuha dyan sa bahay nyo yung mga plastic bottle, yung cellophane, at saka mga visible, yan ay hindi sip ng tubig pagkat wala silang tiny holes. They are solid, they are compact, solid na talagang walang butas yan. So, yan ang pinagkahibahan ng mga ng porous material. So, alamin natin. No, ayan. So, our guide question, we're going to answer it. So, what is the characteristics of each of the materials before placing them to water? O, ano kaya sa sa tingin nyo ang sagot nito? Okay. 
So, some of the materials, you can describe the shape, describe the texture, and you can also describe what it looks like. Nya? So, maybe your answer will be, all the materials are dry, or some of the materials are rough, or uh, some of the materials is uh, fresh, ganon. So, number two, did all the materials absorb water? Sa ginawa natin experiment, lahat ba ng mga bagay or materials ay sumipsit ng tubig? No. Diba? So, our answer is no. And then, number three. Which of the materials absorb water? So, sa experiment natin kanina, yung mga nag-absorb ng water na materials, we have tissue paper, cotton balls, sponge, towel, and paper. Yan. Yan ang mga pwedeng sumibisit ng tubig. And then, number four, which of the materials did not absorb water? So, we have plastic ball, gabi leaf, cellophane, vegetable, stone, and plastic bottle. So, yan ang ating guide question nung nagsagawa natin ang ating experiment. Okay. Ano ba kasi yung mga bagay na sumisipsip ng tubig? So, we call them as porous materials. So, what are porous materials? So, these are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. Yan. So, meron daw silang small holes or mga butas that na-allow nila ang air, ang hangin or liquid na papasok doon sa mga materials na iyon. So, for example, so, we have the cotton. So, cotton is very porous which makes it a natural absorber of water. So, yan ang cotton. And then, we have also sponge. Kung makapansin nyo, meron ding butas-butas yan. May, may mga tiny holes. And then, pwede din ang tissue. So, those are examples of porous materials. We call them as porous materials. Okay, did you understand, kids? Very good. So, if we have porous materials, we have also non-porous materials. What is non-porous materials? So, this non-porous materials doesn't allow water to pass through. So, for example, we have cellophane. We have the metals. We have the stone. And other more, we have leaves. And plastic toys. So, those are examples of non-porous materials. If you observe the stone, cellophane, the plastic toys, they don't have tiny holes so that air and liquid cannot, so they cannot pass through. So, these are examples of non-porous materials. Okay, did you understand kids what is porous materials and non-porous materials? Are you able to identify between the two of them? So, there are different materials in our environment that can be classified according to their properties. They can be classified based on their ability to absorb water. Some materials can absorb water more than others. Okay, let's answer first this activity. During rainy days, what kind of material are you going to use to prevent you from getting wet? Okay, so we can use either umbrella or raincoat. Why? Because this umbrella and raincoat are plastic that does not allow water to pass through. 
So that is the, the best materials we can use during rainy season. Okay, very good. So, we're going to answer an activity. This is activity 2. And in this activity 2, you just choose the letter of the correct answer. So we have a picture on the left side and you're going to choose the letter of the correct answer on the right side. So we have the A and B. So for example, number 1. So you can see the wet floor. So what will you use? Is it the, the plastic rug or a map? Okay, so the best thing you will use there is the map. Very good. Next one. How about this one? A boy is taking a bath. What is the best he will use to wipe his body? Towel or sack? What is the best answer here? So we have the towel. Very good. Next one. Okay. A boy with full of sweat on his face. What is the best material that you, this boy will use to wipe his sweat on his face? Cellophane or handkerchief? Okay, very good. So we have the handkerchief. Next, a boy is washing his face. What is the best material that he will use to dry his face? Face towel, paper. So the best answer there is face towel. It can absorb the water. And then, underline the correct answer. So we have here our activity three. So a towel is made of cotton wool plastic. It, it can cannot absorb water. So, what is your answer here? A towel is made of cotton wool. Yes, very good. And it can absorb water. Very good. Next, number two. A stone is made up of rubber, mineral. It can, cannot absorb water. So, we have there it cannot absorb water. Very good. And then, number three, a handkerchief is made of plastic cloth. It can cannot absorb water. What is the best answer here? What is the best answer here? Cloth. Very good. And it can absorb water. Next one. A chair, a chair is made, is made of, made metal, of metal, metal, plastic. It can, cannot absorb water. Okay, it is made out of plastic and then it cannot absorb water. And the last one, we have the an egg tray made up of cotton paper pulp. It can, cannot absorb water. Okay, it is made out of paper pulp and it can absorb water. So that is our lesson for this day, for the first quarter on Science 4. Thank you kids and have a blessed day. Take care always and be safe. Bye-bye.